Hi, this is Wallace from Epic Games. This video is for people with CLI experience who are ready to take it to the next level using the reporting system. You'd be forgiven for thinking that reports are just a way of exporting HTML documents with information about your project, but when we dig a little into how they are made, you'll see the reporting system is a super powerful way of pulling information out of your project with an enormous range of possibilities, and those HTML templates will become a goldmine of reference material. A report can have any extension you like, not just HTML. And essentially, Reality Capture is going to look at your template file and translate anything in it that uses the reporting system and then spit out the translated file. Okay, let's get started. Uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to make a very simple report. It's just going to be a TXT file. And all it's going to do is say how many images are in the project. Now, if you're not familiar with reports at all, um, this is what they're like in a normal state. You go to workflow, uh, output and reports. And let's do an example. We'll just use the overview report. So you just click on it. You um, tell it where you want to put the report. It's going to be an HTML file and you want to replace it. I just exported one. So yeah, let's replace it. And then it will just open it in your browser. So uh, you might want to just export a few of the reports and then just see if there's an information in there that you would like, because I'm going to just show you in a second how you can kind of back engineer and find the uh, variables that you want out of the reports. So we can see here that actually in this overview report, we do have the number of inputs here, uh, 90 which matches the number in the project. Um, so we can use this to uh, guide us when we're building our template. So before you get started, um, I'll show you uh, how to look at those report templates uh, in a second. But uh, I also think you should have a look in the help. Search for reports and then click on the reports tile. Um, that basically shows you similar to what I just showed you. And if you go down the bottom here, we've got custom report template and read all of this. Um, I can't cover it all in one video because there's a lot to cover, um, but it will give you some general ideas. And if you go down to function sets here, you can see the function set. Now, what is a function set? Um, these function sets are going to give you access to other functions and those functions in turn are going to give you access to the variables you want and the variables will be things like the focal length of a camera or the number of images in the project and if we scroll down here you can find all of the function sets um, and all the functions available within each function set so let's have a look at this first one here camera errors export function set and the only available function is camera errors which also tells us can be found in the camera scope. So here we are in the camera scope. So we can just cult scroll down to find camera errors. And here it is. And we can see uh, this is the syntax, the parameter and the available functions um, here. And here are the available variables. Uh, let's uh, have a look at the uh, overview um report and this is the template now if you want to find them they're going to be in uh, program files capturing reality reality capture reports and then you'll see a few html files in there and here we can steal information so you can see at the top here we evoke the function sets which makes those variables inside the function sets available to us. Uh, the reason Reality Capture doesn't use just all of them all the time is because that's a lot of variables to search through every time you use one. And if you look below, um, I happen to know that this function here, export project info, um, is in this function set at the top, uh, project information export function set, uh, which is no surprise really. And you can see inside, we can see our image count variable there. So to write our TXT file, all we need to do is say that we're using this function set, using this exact syntax here, um, then use the export project info function, and then inside the brackets of that, we can just use that variable. So let's just do a load of copying and pasting. So control C and control V. 
and then we will just copy this function here, control C, and I'll do it on the next line. It means we'll end up with a blank line. And let's go and find our variable there, image count, control C, and control V. And now I'm going to close that bracket so our brackets balance out. Um, but right now, we don't actually have any text in our text file. Um, well, we will. We'll have the what I like to call the translation of this. Um, so uh, let's put some text in here. So we can just say the uh, number of images in the project is, and that should just say 90. So I'm going to save this file save and now I'm going to show you how you actually use your report template so um, you might not know this but if you have a console window same similar to help you just go to the drop down and then go to con at the bottom here you can write commands directly into the console so I'm going to do hyphen all commands begin with a hyphen then export lowercase export and then capital R and then if I press tab it's going to tab through every single thing which starts with exports and a capital R and we want export report. Now look there, you can see the arguments it wants um, uh, in the explanation above. So first argument is the output, which is the target path. Hang on, I'll just scroll through again so you can see it still. Uh, so the first argument needs to be the output and the second argument is the template but we don't have an output yet. I will have to make a path and file name for that uh, later. So let's start with the second argument, a bit confusing, but that's what we're gonna do. Control enter. And if you do control enter, then you can actually just go and find your file. Uh, here it is, input counter uh, .txt. And there it's put the path in, um, in inverted uh, commas. Is that what they're called? Yes, quotation marks, let's call them that. Um, Let's copy that, control C, and then let's paste it in as our first argument as well. But we need to change it, obviously, because this will be our output file. So I have a folder output, so outputs, and then another slash, and we don't want to give it the exact same name. So let's call it input counter um, out. It could have the same name, it's in a different folder, but I'm going to call it input um, input counter out and there we actually have a line of code which is going to create that report so just going to go to the end there and press enter and now it's exported so let's go into our folder there and if we go into the outputs folder here it is let's double click on that and there we go uh, the number of images in the project is 90 so if we go back Again, you can see, so first line, we're just saying which function set we want to use. So that just disappears because uh, we're not trying to get any information out there. Second line, uh, we are using uh, this um, function here. And inside that, we just have normal text and we have our variable image count. So a good rule of thumb is a lot of stuff in the reporting system starts with a dollar sign. Um, so when you're looking at the inbuilt reality capture templates, if you want to find report stuff, then generally it's going to be stuff which starts with a dollar sign. A um, few exceptions to that, but it's a, a good rule. Okay, let's get on with our next example. Now, this is a way where you can start using those variables in scripts rather than just blindly sending commands to reality capture without any idea of what's actually going on in the project. So we're going to use a very simple example using RCCMD, which is our own um, scripting format. And you can see I've got in the project here my first model, 7 million triangles. I simplified it to 50,000 and then I made loads, lots of duplicates and some of them I unwrapped and some of them I didn't. You can see ones with TX, that's for TX for texture and there's two without. So the idea is we're going to look through all of our models 
And if any model is untextured, we're gonna texture it. And the ones which are already textured have a single 8K texture, so they should be untouched. It won't add the extra texture. And I've changed my unwrap parameter to 4K. So once we're finished, hopefully model three and model five will both have a single 4K texture just from unwrapping. Okay, so um, let's take a look at our script. Here it is, it's not very long. And here's the function set we're using. As you can imagine, it's the model export function set. And here is the function. Um, so this is actually an iterator, which will iterate through every single model in the selected component. So it will go through all six of these models here. And first of all, it's gonna select the model um, just by the name. Uh, so this variable will just fill in the um, name of the model that's currently um, being selected by the iterator. And then here we have our if statement. And you can see this is a Boolean um, if the model is textured, but we have an exclamation mark here. Uh, so that means if the model is not textured. And then if this is true, this statement here, then it will actually uh, write out this part here, which is just an unwrap command. So ideally it should go through every model, um, say select model, then the name of the model. And if it's not textured, it's gonna unwrap it. Okay, so let's try and use this. Um, so in Reality Capture now it's exactly the same as previously. So we do the hyphen and then export uh, and then capital R and then tab through to report. I'm pressing a right arrow here. And again, we're gonna find our template uh, with control enter. And here it is, texture the untextured RCCMD. And that will put the path in there. And then I'm gonna copy that control C and then paste it in as our target but with the same changes as before. So we'll put it in the outputs folder and then another slash and we call it texture, the untextured out. Okay, so I'm actually gonna put one more command in here. Um, I'm gonna copy this path. Oop, let's just go to the end, control C. And we're gonna put a command into execute uh, that RCCMD with the translations in it, uh, which is hyphen exec, and then I'm gonna tab, and we'll do tab again to just exec RCCMD. I'll press right again to put that in there, and then space, and then control V with that same path to our output. Now, why not make a button for it um, as we're in the sequencer here? So I just click this plus here, and we can call this uh, texture the untextured and just click OK. And now in our workflow tab under uh, sequence, we have a button texture the untextured. So that's going to um, make that report and then run it. Uh, let's click it. There we go, see it's going through the models, finds the unte untextured ones and fills them in. It did it. So let's have just check. Yep, we have a single 4K texture on models three and five and all of the other models have just kept the single 8K texture. So finally, uh, let's just quickly have a look at the output there. I'll just open that in our text ed editor as well. And there we go, you can see it runs through, the iterator runs through every model, select, and then the model, so it's gone one, two, three, so they could be named or whatever, it would fill it in. And then when it got to three, because the if statement was true, it put an unwrap command in, and the same on model five. That's it uh, for part one. And in part two, we're gonna look at some more advanced uses of the reporting system. So thank you very much for watching and goodbye.